Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So one of my viewers asked me several questions about microwaves and in particular, do the larger microwaves have more copper than the smaller ones? And are all newer models made now with aluminum wire instead of copper? So what I want to do today is answer both of those questions. As you can see behind me, I actually have five microwaves I just found last week during bulk pickup week. Microwaves are an excellent source of scrappable material. There's always a lot of copper, brass, uh, tin, or uh, silver, and almost 100% scrappable. For this experiment, I am using the largest one I have right here. This is the widest and it is very deep, as well as the smaller model here. Um, I do actually have separate videos showing how to safely to remove the entire microwave. But for the sake of time, I have already removed the guts on this one. So if you are interested in taking off or taking out the components, go check out that video. Um, but I've already removed it. And the first thing I do want to mention is that they are all different makes and models, different years. I have a Samsung. I have an HG. I have a Toshiba RCA. This one is um, a Danby. So got a lot of different styles, sizes, colors, um, and again, a great source of scrappable material. Um, I do want to make sure I mention, even though I am not taking these apart, before you attempt to open one of these and take out the components, you do have to make sure that you discharge the capacitor. These do or can store a potential risk with the capacitors. They can give you a nasty shock. And these are very easy to discharge. All I do is I will actually take a pair of rubberized handle pliers. I will just put them inside of the um, connectors there and I will touch both sides there. That actually was not a spark, that was me breaking the plastic. Um, but I'm just opening it, as I said, just to touch both ends. And now it is free of, of any type of charge and will not harm you. I have seen some people actually um, take these apart. I don't recommend it. These do have, yes, an outer casing of aluminum, but inside there is a lot of oil. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you. I will just bring these in as um, capacitors. Not much, but it's better than going in the landfill. Um, I have also actually brought it in as e-waste if it is uh, all together, but uh, again, you do want to make sure that you release it from charge to prevent any type of shock. So, capacitor. Uh, and again, very easy. All of these actually are almost identical in materials and components. As you can see, a lot of screws that come off of these. I will just put these off to the side. But for this experiment, I am just going to weigh the copper content from both of them to answer those questions. They both have a really nice control panel that has a small transformer on here that does have some number two copper inside of it. There are always relay boxes. These relay boxes have a small spool of copper as well, as well as some silver. Um, for this experiment, I am not gonna use um, the copper from this because it is very light, but I do always um, break them open to get the copper and silver. But they also have a silver uh, or a mylar board there that has silver inside of them. So that is one thing that they both have. They both also have a motor that comes off of a fan. This is off of one of the other ones I'm using, but if I turn it around, here's some copper from a copper motor. There is always a circuit board that has a small copper donut, I always call it on there. Um, and this copper wire is always going to be number two copper. Doesn't matter how clean it is. Um, the scrapyards will look at thickness and in order to be classified as bare bright, it has to be thicker than 16 gauge. And this is not thicker than 16. Um, so because this is thinner, it will go into my number two. Uh, as well, number two will have, for example, the donut that came off of this one. You can see it is coated. It is a red coating on that. Uh, number two will also take coated or soldered. So some number two copper that I will be factoring in. As well, I do also want to use the appliance wire. 
This one had this wire. This smaller one had a thicker wire right here. And these are also going to be at a scrapyard uh, because of the copper, copper content going to be worth money. Both of these would be referred to as 40% appliance wire. And currently right now in London, Ontario, these wires are going for $1.64 a pound, which is great. Um, they do always have some um, brass prongs on them. Some people take them off for the brass. Some people leave them on for the weight. But this, the reason these are called 40% appliance wire is because both of these have an outer coating of plastic as well as some spools that are coated or wires that are coated with plastic inside of them. The more plastic, the less copper recovery, the lower the value. If they were individual strands like this, the green one here, these are one coated of plastic. This would be higher value. This would be going for the 60% appliance wire and currently $2.74 a pound. So an excellent price. But I don't strip the outer coating off of these because I lose a lot of weight. And in my opinion, I don't see a profit from taking off that wire. I know some people commented on my recent videos said that they strip everything. And again, it's entirely up to you. But in my opinion and my experience, I don't see any type of extra profit removing that coating. So I will leave it on for the weight. But I am going to weigh these at the end as well to give me some more pricing from copper because they are both copper. As well, I will weigh the donut on there as well. The other thing people do often forget, underneath these microwaves is a small motor. These motors will turn the plate. There is copper inside of these and all I actually do with these is I will just hit them with a hammer, pop the cap off and you will see right here, I've already opened the one from this for the experiment. They are the same size, so I'm not worried about that, but a nice spool of number two copper in there as well. And even though it is small, it all adds up. They both, or all of them, also have a nice, um, um, uh, uh, sorry, magnetron. My, I'm sorry, I was lost for words. Magnetrons. These magnetrons do have a nice brass ring. They have some copper wire inside of that cap, as well as a beautiful copper core right in the middle, right over here. These, however, can be dangerous. I do have a separate video showing how to safely dismantle magnetrons for the copper. So if you're interested, go check that out. These ones do have a uh, potential harm risk or risk factor because these strips, there's one here and there's one inside that can have beryllium on it on, underneath in the ceramic coating. Uh, once you scratch it, it can be released. Right now, because it is not damaged, it is easy to handle, it is safe to handle. Um, and I just wanna show you actually one of the magnetrons that I do have. Um, somewhere I found one of them and I'm trying to find it. It was heavily damaged. Look at that. This was one of the microwaves I took apart. So obviously there was my source of problem, but thank goodness the ceramic coating is not disturbed. So it cannot release any type of beryllium and potentially give someone brilliosis. Um, I will also say with these, once I open them, I do put some tape around the ceramic part just so added precaution. If I am removing the core, I do use a grinder, so I wanna make sure that I don't disturb that at all. Uh, but I have already gone ahead and removed the copper core inside of it. Uh, the inside of it, if I was to remove the cap, there is the core. These little prong, these plates here are aluminum, great source of aluminum as well, and um, obviously a different uh, material these would go for 50 cents a pound but again the copper is inside there the core excellent source of copper there so i already have removed one the last thing that i want to look at here are transformers the transformers actually come in two different styles this larger one had a transformer like this so it has a beautiful aluminum heat sink here very heavy it has a small copper donut again as well the transformer you can see the spool of copper wire there. So I am gonna remove that copper wire to remove it. So these ones I find once in a while. The more traditional transformers are your transformers like this. These are very heavy. These are 10 pounds, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a pound less. But these are a great source of scrappable material. I can throw this in as a transformer and get 10 to 15 cents a pound. 
but you do want to make sure you check the two spools there. Uh, if I was to take a file, and actually I've already done this one because this was the one that came out of here, and I scratch it with my file just to show you. Underneath it does reveal a metallic look, and that's because unfortunately this spool is aluminum. It is just a sky to look like copper. There's a coating on it. However, you do want to make sure you check both uh, spools. Taking a file to the other one, as you can see inside of it, that is copper. So in my opinion, copper is your scrapper's gold right now. Even if one of these is copper, it is well worth your time and energy to remove that copper because it's going to be worth a lot more as number two than getting transformer weight. So very easy to do. I also have other videos showing how to open these transformers. Very easy to use a, 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 well, a, a grinder, just opening that, opening the plates and removing that great source. For this video, to speed it up, I do have one exactly like the spool from here. I am not opening it, so I am gonna weigh this one. And as you can see, scratching it does reveal copper. And also another um, warning, please, for your sake, don't assume just by color. I have seen, as you can see, this one looks like a reddish color that's copper. Some of them, exactly the same color, will show um, aluminum. The best, most conclusive test, do the scratch test to see what's underneath that surface. Um, some of these will be copper, copper. And I actually just found a Dan B model that was about five years old. Uh, I don't know what happened to it, but both of the spools were copper. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter the age of the microwave. It just, sometimes you're lucky. I will check all of them because again, even if one of them is copper, it's definitely worth its weight with the copper, but even not, you can still throw this into your transformer bin or when tin was up last two weeks ago, it was up at 10 cents a pound. You could also throw it into your tin and get your dollar for it. So depends on prices, but right now, because tin's down, this will be worth about a cent more a pound from transformer weight. So definitely want to make sure you check prices, but beautiful transformers in there as well. So here we go, moment of truth. First thing I'm gonna do, I do have a scale. Um, I do wanna quickly show you how easy the fan motor is to remove. I do wanna remove this. I cannot bring this in as is as copper because this is all uh, metallic uh, or magnetic, sorry, uh, and I would get a low grade tin price. So very easy, all I do is once I remove the screws on that, this cap pops out, pull this out, I will just put it into my vise. And all I do, I will have safety glasses on just in case anytime I'm using my tools, I will put safety glasses. And I'm just gonna hit it towards me. There you go. There is my piece. There is also on here some copper. I do remove the little bit of copper on here. It's very easy to do. Just take a pair of side cutters. Watch this, I'm just gonna take and make an incision here. Cut, make sure I cut that. Cut the other one. And all I'm gonna do now is just fold it. As you can see, there it is, prying up right now, peeling, peeling. Just pulling it up, there it is. Okay, make sure you have safety glasses on, but uh, there you go. Nice piece of copper there. You can see it's coming out right now and I just fold it through if I can get it. Sometimes it will break off and sometimes that's okay because it's better than nothing, but I'll just start pulling it and there you go. There's some more copper, it all adds up. Pull out the other pieces here, slide them out. Sometimes if I go from the other side, there you go, there's another piece, so again, you don't want to miss any, but the rest of this will go into my tin or a shred pile after. It's just small plates. As you can see, they're all folded together uh, or fused together there very quickly. They do break apart, but some nice copper in there too that some people do forget. And for the moment of truth here, I am going to get out my scale. There it is. Just going to weigh this side. And because a lot of these components are the same, I am going to throw in for example, the motor here as the same, but again, notice the difference in these sizes. I'm gonna turn on this 
recalibrate. Okay, it's at zero right now. So gonna put in the small little motor and you do wanna make sure you take off some of the plastic. It doesn't have to all come off, but it's very easy to do. So this is a little bit of garbage, but nice little spool. Let's see, it's not even gonna weigh in. Eh, a little bit, okay? This motor that I just took out, you do have to remove the plate out of there um, as well. I do just take a side cutter and I will just, just kind of break off the side. Here are some brass prongs that I'll put in my brass, but you wanna just make sure you get it off. Very simple, just peels off like that. Look how easy that is, it just slides off. Again, it all adds up. And someone, another person asked me, why would this not be considered bare bright? As I said, bare bright only pertains to thickness of wire. This is clearly not 16 gauge. So unfortunately cannot be um, bare bright. But again, at $4 and what did I say? 60 cents a pound, I am not gonna complain. So it all adds up, there's some more. I'm gonna throw in my, this is my mag, Magnetron Core. All right, I'm at four ounces right now. Now I'm gonna get to the good stuff. There is my donut that came off the circuit board. I do have to cut that off, just use a pair of side cutters. Okay, and very easy to do for these ones. Once I break it open, I will just actually take a hammer. Um, I cannot bring this in like this because this is magnetic, but just hit it. There you go. These windings will come off like that. Just unwrap it, that's all I do. The rest of this core, like I said, I will just throw into my, my tin pile. And this is really nice thick wire. But again, even though this might be thicker than 16 gauge, it is coated, so it is number two. Okay, I have seen some people, unfortunately, bring it in and hope to get number one price for this. But again, the yard will look at it and it's coated, so be downgraded. So be careful on that. All right, so a nice weight to this actually. It's a nice thick wire, put it in there. I'm at four ounces. Here is, oh, I forgot my little transformer from my circuit board, throw that in. I do also have my windings that came off of the top of the magnetron, which are these, there's two of these. Put these in. And the moment of truth, this is one pound, five ounces. So a 1.5 pounds there, which would give me, obviously, I'm gonna use it as number two price. Um, before I forget, this could go in as number one because it is a core. Um, there is a little bit of coating on here. Uh, I could sandpaper that off. Um, I have had other people say, why don't I, um, put it in or a crucible, use a crucible and melt it down into an ingot. The problem with that is you have to check your scrapyard. Some scrapyards will not take ingots because they question the purity of it. So um, you may have to call ahead and see, but definitely that is a future plan of mine because I love um, using a crucible. I think it's very therapeutic to watch the stuff melt, but again, future plan. But this is the really nice thick core from my Magnetron. And as I said, 1.5 pounds from this. I am gonna weigh right here. Um, I should also say this wire would be your 60% uh, recovery wire. There's not much there, I'm not gonna weigh it, but definitely gonna weigh this cord. It's probably almost a pound. So here we go. It is, no it's not, it's about six ounces. Okay, so not a pound for sure, but again, it all adds up, which is great. So 1.6 pounds of, or one pound, six ounces of the copper from this one. Gonna go, here's my magnetron for the other one. So there is the core from the larger one. There's my core. Again, uh, this one, most of the stuff is gonna be the same. Um, the only difference is going to be the transformer. And I'm gonna do that one right now. This transformer, I do actually have to use a hammer to break that open. This is all magnetic, so I'm gonna do that right now. 
but very nice. In my opinion, smashy, smashy. Definitely want to make sure I put my safety glasses on. Okay, there's two parts to this. All right, so just unravels. Here is my first part. This is, again, this doesn't look like it, but look how nice and thick that is. This does have some good weight to it. So we'll see. Uh, and I don't actually have a video on this transformer. This is my first one showing that, but really nice thick cord there. Like I said, I've already scratched it. It's copper. Adding that up, I'm at, I'm not telling you what I'm at yet, but gonna get the rest of that because I need the weight. There is a core inside of that. Uh, I'm gonna smash it just to get that copper. Clean up later. So there we go. There is... My strand, just gonna pull the rest of that off. There's one, and there is the other one. So this actually does have some pretty good weight to it too. It's just a different type of transformer. Uh, and in my opinion, like I said, out of all the microwaves I've taken apart, I've maybe found eight that have this type of transformer. So it doesn't necessarily have to deal with the size of it. It just depends on the style, sometimes maybe the year. But there is another spool from that transformer. And here I actually have, I'm looking, do I have everything in there? There is actually only nine ounces of copper from this. Um, so the larger one actually had less. Uh, if I look at the wire here, oh, sorry. I did forget the one donut. Not that this is really gonna make a huge difference, but gonna add this as well. Now I'm at nine ounces. I do remove the steel of that. As well, here is my cord that has another donut. Okay, so maybe it's lucky it has two donuts on here, but uh, I don't think it's gonna win. So here we go. Gonna remove this one. Again, use my side cutters. Gonna take that out. Getting under it, there we go. Okay, it's gonna add a little bit of weight. I'm at 12 ounces, 11.9 ounces. So a lot less copper in here than this one. These transformers are definitely your money maker uh, if they are copper. Last thing I do want to check is here is my 40% wire. And I have the same as that one. I have four ounces, 0.2. Four ounces, 0.2. So pretty much the same. So hopefully that answered the question. Yes, size does not matter in this situation. Um, you do want to check all, the, all microwaves, in my opinion, are an excellent source of scrappable material. Even though there is just a little bit of copper, there's still copper and other great items in here. And they're very easy to take apart. So hopefully that answered the question. Again, also doesn't matter. The year on these depends on the manufacturer and I think depends on the resources available. So. Hopefully that answered those two questions for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please continue to ask those questions. I enjoy or try to answer the best I can. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.